let's start working on the functionality of removing activity items. So whenever we click on this delete button, this activity item should disappear from the page. So let's see what we're gonna have to do in order for this to happen. By clicking on the delete button, we will fire an event from the component activity item to the parent component, the activities. And then the activities component will fire one more event to root component up, so that the root component could remove corresponding activity item from the activities array. And just because based on this activities array, we render activity list items on the page, after removing item from this array, we also should see corresponding list item disappearing from the page. So first of all, let's bind listener to the delete button inside of activity item component. In here, let's find base button component. This component represents that button to remove activity. And so by using event direct to with an event name click, here we're gonna fire another event with a name delete to parent component. In other words, when we click on this delete button, we'll fire another custom event with name delete. And just because we have to explicitly declare custom events that are fired from within some component, we need to use macro define emits. And here we'll use event name as a key, delete. And then we're gonna specify validation function for this event. And since we do not send any data along with the delete event to parent component, that means by default undefined value will be sent. So as a validation function for delete event, we can use our function is undefined, which we will check that the actual value which is passed along with delete event is indeed undefined. Then let's scroll up and import this is undefined function from validators module. And if we take a look inside of validators.js file, we will see that currently is undefined function is private. So to make it importable from outside, we need to use export keyword in here. And for better code organization, let's move this function and place it next to other functions that we export. And the same thing let's do with define emits macro. We're gonna group define props and define emits macros together inside of activity item component. And now since we fire custom event delete to parent component, which in our case is the activities component, we need to go to the activities component and on activity item component, let's register a listener for our custom event with the name delete. And when this event is received, we are going to fire another custom event with the name delete activity, but in this case to the root component up. And in order for root component to know which activity we'd like to remove, we also have to pass activity name along with this event. We can get access to the current activity name by using activity loop variable. Let's pass it as a second argument to emit function. And we also have to use macro define emits in this component to declare our custom event with the name delete activity. But in this case, we send data along with this event, which is activity name. So we can use validation function called is activity valid in here which will properly validate that the data that will be passed along with delete activity event is indeed a valid activity name. Currently all activities are represented by simple strings, so this validation function will ensure that the activity name is not an empty string. And now, as always, let's import validation function is activity valid from validators module. And next, we're gonna switch to app component and register listener for delete activity event on the activities component. As a listener in this case, we're gonna specify a reference to local function with the name delete activity. So let's scroll up to script tag and in here create new function with this name, which we will accept one parameter, which is activity name. And all that this function will have to do is to remove one element from activities array. We're gonna remove item from this array by its index by using native JavaScript method called splice. As a first parameter in here, we have to specify an index of an element we'd like to remove. And we can obtain this index by using another native JavaScript function called index of. Here we should pass an item index of which we'd like to find. And as a second argument to the splice method, we are passing amount of elements we'd like to remove, starting from an index specified in the first parameter. 
And now let's see in the browser what is going to happen after we will click on delete button. Note that initially activities array contains three activities. And once I click on delete button, we're gonna see that array activities now contains two elements, which means that our custom events are being properly handled and we are successfully removing item from activities array declared within the root component. But actually on the page, deleted activity still remains in the list. So our UI state does not reflect our internal state because activities list in the UI should depend on activities array. So currently view cannot detect changes of activities array because this array is not reactive. And therefore those UI parts that depend on activities array, for example this, the activities component, they are not automatically re-rendered whenever activities array changes. So in order to fix it, we just have to make activities array reactive array by using a ref function. And just because a ref function returns an object with value property which stores value of reactive variable, we're gonna have to reference our reactive array by using value property. So let's use value property in here. When we're passing array of activities to generate activity select options function. And also we have to do the same thing inside of delete activity function, where we reference activities array. Now we're gonna get access to this reactive array by using value property. So now since this activities variable is a reactive, view should detect changes whenever this array will be modified by adding items or removing items from it. And then those parts of the UI which depend on this reactive variable will automatically be re-rendered such as our the activities component which displays list of activities and now after we click on the delete activity button instantly we will see that the activity list item will disappear and at the same time one item will be removed from activities array don't forget that this activities array gets declared within the root component and then it gets passed as a prop to the activities component let's go ahead and try to remove last item of this list so now we are left with only one item in the activities array. And finally, if we will delete remaining item from this list, the activities array will become empty. So right now our UI state is fully dependent on the state of the activities array. And just because currently we don't have any option to add new activities, we need to do a full page refresh in order to get all activities back.